Hey guys, so now it's time to start working with this main application. You know, we already have the API in the channel. We already have the main application, the main client also, but we still don't have the main application. So this is the one, this is what we're going to build. So you can see um, I've been working with some things and that's why you cannot see the images here because I'm using the same API in order to grab some information and use it inside a Angular and server-side rendering. So that's why you cannot see this, because remember that these images are being stored inside our Molter Oblots folder that we have in the API. Okay? So with server-side rendering, I needed to do a lot of things differently, so that's why you cannot see the images here, but don't worry about those. This is only main stack, the main application. Okay, we will not do server-side rendering here. We will do it later in another tutorial. So let's take a look at what we have. For example, this one. Okay, we can edit this. Okay, so let's choose a new file. Maybe this one. And submit. Aside. I think I forgot to close the panel. Okay, I forgot to um, add the redirection after that, but you can see that this is working and we will fix those as we move on in this um, move on. Sorry, in this uh, tutorial. So let's go back and you will see that this is um, this changes, but although we cannot see. Nothing here, well, let's add a new post. So this this will be added and this is uh, why you can see these errors because these are in a different folder on a different application which is using the same API. So don't worry about those. Those are from another application that are sharing the information that we have in this API or in MongoDB. So let's say a um, test post for uh, YouTube. We need to add some lorem ipsum here because we have a validation and we will see how to do that. So let's grab this lorem ipsum, um, not that, but all this. Let's get it and we choose another file in order to add a new one. So let's add this image, okay, submit. You can see uh, it adds another one because we have a cap or a limit of three um, images inside uh, the response. Okay, so if I click this one, you can see we have the same. And if I go back, we are still in this page because we're saving the current state of the uh, responses. So uh, we keep or users with this, we're not checking for the image, we're just checking for the page. So when we click a page, even though we can click this, but we cannot uh, get the picture, but we can get the data that is stored in Mongo. If we go back, we still are in the page number two, okay? And that will work for every other page. We will face a problem with this, but we will fix that. Um, once we um, finish the application, so we can uh, focus on that error. So um, that's it, and I think it's time to start working. So let me just um, stop all these processes, okay? The API and the application, the um, Angular application. And now, of course, if I uh, refresh this, this is not going to work. So let me move that out of the way. And here you can see we have the API we worked with last time. So inside clients, I already created an Angular client. So you just need to create one. And let's get bash here and say ng serve to see what we have and also we can open this inside a VS Code in order to start working. So right now, I think I'm going to start with the service, create all the service uh, information. 
and then we will move on just connecting that information inside the components so I think that would be better and that will change certain things that we used to do in other tutorials for you to you know start mixing and start understanding um, how to process all this information so we will need to wait for this this is taking a little bit I don't know why okay but okay so this is the application this is just a regular application so if you're using the latest CLI you will get this I'm using angular a so let me show you my package digestion while this starts uh, working so where am I so what the hell is that thing okay so the angular CLI is 8.319 around that Okay, so you will need that version in order to follow along. But if you're using a less uh, a version that is less, so let me just stop that and we will do something. Let's say ng ng generate service. We will generate a service. This is taking a, a long to serve. I don't know why. ng generate service. So this service is going to be called. Just let me uh, check my. So this service is going to be called, I think it's API service. I'm just check. yep, I'm just checking the naming. So um, let's call it API, I hit enter. So this shouldn't take long, okay. You can see that we created that and let me see where it is, it's right here, okay. So we will start with the app module and now we can start working without worrying and you serve that uh, this stops or, or um, complains about something so we will go to app module.ts and I will add right away the HTTP client because we need that we will add routing in a second just to keep that so we're using angular um http client module from angular common http okay so we need to add that inside the imports the http client module and we save this okay so you can see that it's taking a bit in order to serve something okay now we can go and we can check because it's already done If you want to start working okay so this is what you will face uh, with this version okay, of the CLI in case you use a, a, um, a version before around 8 or I can't remember which version gave you the last um, you know just the angular logo and all that so this is different so don't worry about that we will remove all that that's just the boilerplate now we will start working as I said inside the service so where is the service okay now as I already have the HTTP client we will import that inside this service okay so I will be copying and pasting a few things so we are not going to use HTTP um, headers we don't need that and I will explain why later. So inside the constructor, we need to add the instance of this um, HTTP client, which is going to be HTTP client, just like this, just like this, and HTTP client, in order to set the typing of this, okay, or the type. We're going to add in this video all the functionality of the service. So let's say public get posts. So this will get all the posts, but we need a page because we are setting some um, filtering or better said, we're, say, we're setting the pagination inside the API. So if you haven't checked that, go to the channel and check the min mern API development. Um, it's a series of, I think, six videos, so you can check that. We test that with a postman. So if page is equals to null, 
what we're going to do is return so here we're going to make the call return this that HTTP client that get and we will use the let me just grab this and uh, remove this so it's HTTP HTTP sorry localhost 4000 API we still don't have that running okay we only have the um, angular application running so we will do that in the next video let's just get rid of all this information first and else so if the page is null we're going to be a redirected kinda inside the first page so we can fetch the first set inside the uh, mongo database we're using also mongo atlas so we will see that later return this that http okay it's taking a little bit i don't know why get so we're going to use the same this http if we receive a page but what we're going to do is to send that request with the page number okay so that will uh, retrieve us the page uh, on which we want to be and the set of results that are a reference in that page. So the next one is going to be public get post post ID. This one is going to be, we can say type any right now. Um, you can say it as a string or number and that should work with a string number something like that okay uh, we can keep that if you want but if you think that is a little um, odd if you're starting um, working with TypeScript and Angular and don't know too much about uh, how to set the times they just leave it in any so you can understand and then you can just change the types so that's the point of using TypeScript of course HTTP client that uh, get so what we're going to do here is that uh, we're going to receive a post ID inside this function and we're going to make a call to the API which is not working right now we don't have that open so um, that's why we are not going to even test this so we're going to send to API post inside the 4000 localhost and uh, we will use the post ID so we will return that only so we're just returning the subscription of these um, or the observables from this http request we will uh, work with those inside the components so the add post so okay we're going to receive a post. You can set a model here. I'm not worrying too much about the model, okay? And say to post and set the uh, interface to have what you want or to match the properties you have inside MongoDB. But as I said, um, although this is kind of intermediate thing, not so um, for beginners sometimes some people you know just don't get this thing right at first glance so that's why i'm using any in most of my typings okay so um, don't worry too much about that if you know um, about this about how to use and set the types and which types we are expecting because i could even say void for this well not a return a promise i could even set that because we're returning a, a not a promise, sorry, an observable, but that adds a, a little more complexity, which we will uh, take a look later as we move on in these kind of tutorials. So maybe in the next two or three uh, tutorials, I will start adding now all the typings, so you get used to that. Now, uh, so this is going to be not a return but here we're going to receive the post information from the form so what we're going to receive now is the title and content 
which is going to be equals or which is going to come from that post okay now we're going to create form data inside this because remember that the, the API is expecting from data so we're going to add the typing of from data here of course and for the type so new from data we need to set this as a new from data in order to append information for this so from data I will do the first one and show you the rest append so we're going to append okay not there but inside this method we're going to append something called title or a property called title inside this and the value is going to be the title that we have set in line 27 now from data that append okay well, let me just copy those two because um, we will need the content so we append the property content and we add the content that is going to come from this post okay which is the um, form data object that is going to come from the form of course and in order to set something like the file or the cover we're going to set the type or the name of this property to be cover and we're going to use the first file inside this file list which is going to be a file list from the input type file and we need to specify here the name of the file and here the file itself okay so that is how we're going to send information to the api after this we're going to return this that http client that post <coughs> and we're going to send this to localhost 4000 api create and passing the form data which contains the title content and the file for the cover okay the file is going to be processed in the api so we don't need to do anything else here and that is the add post the update post is going to be different well not different but uh, it's going to share some things so let's say public update post this one of course is going to receive again some information the post okay because we want to send again the information for mongo to merge what we have and a merge the changes again the file which is going to come if the user selects a new file i'm going to just copy all this so as i said even though um this is kind of intermediate so that's why I'm not going through all of this so um, if you're a newbie go check another um, I have other tutorials for angular where I explain a little more about this okay but um, don't worry too much just follow along and you will start understanding the the deconstructing the, the of the object that we are sending and how to send the form data as said before that uh, we were not going to use the http headers or any option because when we are using form data inside the um, angular application in order to send requests the headers are already appended okay by angular so we don't not, we don't need sorry to do anything else in order to send form data so um, it's pretty simple actually that's why you don't see me adding some options and anything like that because angular takes care of all that so we're going to do the same here append something to the um, or some properties to the form data that we have created right now in the line 43 we're going to append the title the content the all cover and all cover name we will take a look at those later because this is the all cover is the url let's say firebase the storage url and this is the um, firebase file name okay so we're going to receive those two once we fetch from firebase 
I say Firebase. What the hell? No, sorry. Not. Sorry, this is the not storage URL and. Sorry about that. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> not file name. Okay. So this is the file, or better said, not not but Molter. Okay, just like that. So we're going to receive those two uh, sets of information or those two properties that we already have defined in the API for us uh, to merge the new content in case we have new title and new content inside what we have inside the MongoDB. Okay, we need to provide those because if we don't do that, then those two are going to be uh, marked as empty objects or empty strings and we will not receive a, I mean this information will be lost if we don't send again in order to merge it so it's actually not a merge but um, for some reason that is how it works inside a MongoDB so this is something like sorry I've missed one okay so if file is not undefined because at this point in time we will receive and we will check this once we start working with that so I just wanted to get all this done because as, as I said before and I don't like to repeat myself but um, this is not a, a full beginners tutorial okay so I want you to uh, be aware of that so from that and that um, a pen so at this point in time we're going to check if the user selected a new file in order to um, replace the current cover that is already in the post okay so if they select a file then the file property that we have here is going to um, is not going to be undefined and we're going to set a new um, from data property the cover and we're going to pass the file the first file in the file list because that file is actually a file list and file file name just as we did up here in order to send the file again okay the new file and we're going to return so let me just uh, well I will copy that so return uh, I mean I will type this uh, HTTP client that put we're going to send a pull request and this pull request is going to go to um, localhost 4000 API update we're going to pass the ID in order to tell Mongo which um, uh, which post is the one we want to update and then the form data for Mongo to parse and uh, merges that information so now inside the else we know that we're not going to receive any um, file because this is going to mark or this is going to be marked as undefined and we're just going to return the put request just like that a simple is the same like as this but this one is not going to have the um, form data cover so that is not going to change anything because we're going to send again all this information that needs to be um, written again inside MongoDB and finally so this uh, ends there okay finally we will face the delete delete post so we're going to receive a post ID this one is going to be a string we know this is a string constant again let me just copy that because this is again the same from data We create a new form data because we are going to send the ID. We need to send the ID inside this form data in order for the API to receive which ID we want to um, delete. Okay, so we need to do this for this specific delete post. And then we're going to say 
return this that HTTP client we're going to return the response so we're going to send a request we delete we're not going to do that um, cheap thing that is saying a post request to the uh, delete we're actually using the HTTP verbs that we uh, need to use so we're not going to do all the cheap things that you can see in other tutorials so um, let me just grab that so the API is going to be localhost 4000 API delete that's the route inside the API and of course it needs the ID so it's going to be post ID and inside this we're going to pass the request as body or I mean the body of the request with this um, object body property and inside that the form data so that is how we delete something or we send a delete request using um, angular okay so it's going to receive inside this form data the id for not to parse it or to retrieve it and use that in order to send it to or give it to mongodb or mongoose because we're using mongoose and um, that is going to delete the correct um, post and also the image that is attached to that post inside the Molter uploads. Again, if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, go and check the Mer and Min API development and I explain everything about the API there because we built the API from scratch and we test it with, um, with Postman. Okay, so that's it for this video and in the next one we're going to check now we're going to start working with the components because we we haven't created those we just created the service and add the routing and lazy loading so thank you and see you in the next one